I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing newborn reflexes. If you watched my previous video on the newborn head to toe assessment, I did talk about a couple of the reflexes in that one, but I wanted to make a specific video just about the reflexes so I can go into more detail about them. So let's jump into it. Our first reflex we're going to talk about is the Moro reflex. So this is sometimes called the startle reflex. And what happens is baby extends their extremities, forms a C with their fingers, and then goes back to flexion. So what happens with this is babies like this, they're cozy in their little bassinet, and maybe somebody bumps the bassinet or there's a loud noise, something startles them. They go like this, right? And they have a woo little, and then their fingers form a C and then they come back, okay? So that's the moral reflex. They're temporarily startled, and then they come back. This is usually gone by six months and can be unequal due to injury. So if you had a macrosomic baby, so a big baby, and there was a shoulder dystocia, and maybe now you have like a palsy or a brachial plexus injury because of that, you go to do the moral reflex, and ooh, one of them does it, the other one doesn't do it. The other one's probably not even going to be like this. It's going to be like this. And so, woo, it goes like this. Okay? So, that's the moral reflex. The Palmer grafts, that's probably one you've done. You just didn't know it was called the Palmer grafts. What happens with this one is baby has their little hand, and then you take, like, your finger or some object, and you put it on their palm. What do they do? They wrap their fingers around you, right? They always grab you. That's the Palmer grafts. This is usually gone by two months. And now the plantar grafts is the same concept, except instead of using our hands, we're using our feet. So let me grab my baby doll. Okay, so this is my little baby doll we're going to be using. I'll try to zoom it in here for you. So what happens with the plantar grafts is you put your finger here on the sole of their foot, and then their little toes curl over your finger. This is usually gone by one year. But Binsky's reflex is another foot one. So let me show you here. Baby's foot, and then you gently stroke the sole, and then the toes will start to flare out. If they are unable to do this, this is indicative of a central nervous system issue. And actually, this is what we're checking when we're doing the reflexes. We're checking their neurological function. So if they're unable to elicit some of these reflexes, it's a sign that maybe something's going on with their CNS, their central nervous system. Tonic neck, this is sometimes called the fencer's position. What we do with this one is we turn baby's head to one side and the extremities on that side will extend and then the opposite side will flex. So for example, babies like this, right? We turn the head to this side, these extremities will extend, and this one will stay flexed. They call this the fencer's position because it's like um, if you've ever seen somebody fence, you know, and they kind of stand like this, okay? That's why they call it that. That's the tonic neck. And this is gone by four months. The sucking, that's exactly what it sounds like. So what you're going to do, you're either going to put a gloved finger in baby's mouth, a lot of times we're doing this when we're checking the palate anyway and they start sucking on your finger so you know like, oh, well they have the sucking reflex. So we can either put our finger in their mouth or we can watch baby suck, watch baby breastfeed or bottle feed to see if they have this reflex. This is usually gone by eight months. The rooting reflex, we're going to touch baby's cheek and baby will turn towards the stimulus. So let me grab my baby here. So I have my baby here, and I'm going to gently brush their cheek, and then they're going to turn their head towards where I was touching, because they're looking for food. These are survival instincts. These are reflexes they need to survive, sucking and rooting. And this is gone by six months. And then finally, our stepping reflex. We're going to hold the baby upright. One foot touches a flat surface then the baby will step out with the other foot. So what that means is supporting the head. You're going to hold the baby like this, okay, under the armpits. And then one foot touches like, you know, the crib or the table or something like that. The other foot will copy. So it almost looks like they're walking a little bit. That's why it's called the stepping reflex. And this is gone by four weeks. 
A few other reflexes I didn't put on this chart because they're ones that don't go away, they continue throughout your whole life that babies should have, are a gag reflex. And we don't do that one, we don't gag the babies, but if they cough or something, we know, okay, they have a gag reflex. Their pupillary reflex, so when we're taking our pen light and we're looking into their eyes, they should have that lifelong. And then finally, their blink reflex, so their ability to blink. We should be able to see them do that. So those are three. I didn't put them on the chart because they're the ones that they have forever. All of these other ones, they go away in a certain amount of time. That's why I wanted to talk about them because they're special for the newborn. So that was my video on newborn reflexes. I hope you found this helpful. Any questions or comments, just let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.